is made up of blood. I'm gonna cut it off, yeah. <laughs> hey, Jeff, that's a nice knife you have hey, there. Yeah, I got a box in the mail. Um, set from Grace and Hunt of the Dead Echo Squadron in Portland, Oregon. Uh, Who's that? That's the lead character, Bulletstorm. Oh, hi. Hello, Bulletstorm. So, let's see what uh, goofy ass thing this is. Oh, boxes are so hard. I'm so bad at opening boxes. Which is crazy because you open a lot. You would, you would think that I would have gotten better at it. I just, you know, I never want to learn how to do it right. I just want to attack the box. And I never really look at the box to see what's the best way to attack it. You just kind of blindly just start stabbing at it. I just tear the box up. Like Snoop. That's right. Oh. All right. That's an invite to the Bulletstorm E3 After Hours VIP party. And then uh, in here... Meat. Yes. Ugh. Is it? Uh, it's cold, isn't it? This is in like dry ice. Do not consume. Could cause serious injury. Nice that they. That's probably like the last thing they're like. No, we're gonna need to put that on there because someone's gonna fucking eat this. This is a uh, ground beef and some dog tags. And Let's tear into it. There's stuff in there. There's like a USB stick. I don't want to fucking open this. You got any latex gloves? No. Dry eyes. Well, fuck. All right. Let that dry eyes and water and make fog. <laughs> Dude, yeah. Fuck this thing. Let's do that. All right. Should we open this on the street near the storm drain? Yeah, sure. Or you know, go to the kitchen. I don't want to do this. It's Tuesday. We can't leave raw meat rotting in the fucking garbage can for four days, right? We have to cook it. So we just throw this whole thing in the microwave. <laughs> That's too much metal in here. There's a bunch of bullet <laughs> shells. We have to we have to extract those. Fucking goddamn it! It's a fucking saw puzzle. <laughs> oh, what we got there? Put that to the side. You don't have to open that now. All right. You can wash that off. Those are USB. That's okay. What else we got in there? Quit being so dainty about it. All it's right. not gonna bite you. Are you sure? What if it did? That'd be way better. A little bit of uh, a little uh, camo. A little fatigue. A little fatigue. Fatigue. Dog tags. It's got my name on it. Final Echo. Also my name. Alright. I like that they've colored this meat. Yeah. Like I think this is just turkey. They've been like, that wasn't red enough, so. These are all like spent shells, yeah. primer dinged and everything. That smells delightful. Is that a uh, grenade ring there? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Get into it. Oh, that's just that's just the pad. <laughs> which which box? Even did that was cardboard only. So this one. I guess that one. Yeah. More bullet casings. Fucking gross. <laughs> <laughs> Is that like? Supposed to be cartilage or something? No. That's not think about it. Somewhere in here is the secret. <laughs> I think I think it's probably just that USB key that was on top. You probably what? tossed the rest what of this. What are you this. talking about? Oh, you mean like the book of the secret? Yeah. That's, uh, that's also on the USB key. Under my goddamn fingernails. <laughs> Uh, so gnarly. Fuck. <laughs> like my hands are already dirty. I might as well go yeah, all the yeah, way, just right? Go, I mean, go, go for it, man. 
This is what we should have fucking made the intern do. What the fuck are we doing? <laughs> Slacking. I don't know. I'm enjoying this intern thoroughly. Dig through the meat. Yeah, but imagine if we were both standing on that side and both enjoying <laughs> it. All right, yeah, you can, you're not going to find any more secrets. So thanks, Bulletstorm, for box of bad meat. Awesome. Let's see what's on that USB key. Watch, the, watch yourself. Shit out of these dog tags and myself. <laughs> Let's say uh, you want to plug in that uh, USB key, see what's going on there? Yeah. It's probably just the same trailer again, isn't it? Probably, but or if they went through the trouble of packing it in meat, maybe... Tanya Jessen or something saying, I hope you washed your fucking hands. <laughs> Bolt Storm trailer small, Bolt Storm trailer big. Well, uh, all right. Minute let's, 11 in length. Then let's talk about, uh, is it just the same? Okay. We got I think that's the same trailer. It's all the same stuff they've been showing. Except for, and place your vote for best original game. Please. So this is a, uh, a judge's package? Yeah. And well, then let's talk about this thing, this other thing that's on your screen here. So this went up on YouTube uh, on an account called Mortal Kombat Rebirth. Yeah. And it, it is a well-produced live-action Mortal Kombat thing. I'll, we'll put the video up so people can see it, but it's... I like that the O and the N <coughs> yeah. are missing. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah. <laughs> Attention to That's like, by the way, in case you didn't know that his real name was Jackson Briggs, <laughs> like... Was that, was that his name in the, in the continuity? Yeah. In, in the canon? Yeah. So, so the current popular theory around here is that that's like a... Like some sort of live action. Yeah, here's your Baraka trailer. Promotional uh, item for a game? For a new MK game. As opposed to a movie, right? So here's why I think it's not a movie is Maybe. that we would have heard about it already. Yeah, okay. M movie studios don't keep that shit yeah, under wraps. Yeah. They're like, we ha we're making a movie and we have a director and here are the stars we're attached. Get a variety by now or something. Exactly. Right? When actors get attached to stuff like was it Michael Jai White and yeah. Jerry, Jerry Ryan. Ryan. Like that's. You would have heard about, heard about it. Heard about it. Absolutely. So I think the that's budget a good point. for that thing or was for that thing. Vinny, Vinny was saying it could have been like a hundred grand. I mean, they got a helicopter in that thing. Hey, at least could have been hundred grand. All that makeup and fight choreography. I mean, I'd say probably more than that. Well, if you think about it, if if Warner Brothers is going to reboot MK and try and do something new and significant with it, put you're going to put some money behind sure, it. Sure. Sure. And also, it's Warner Brothers. I think they have some. Uh, they own a helicopter. Yeah, they probably but, have uh, a helicopter. Yeah, we, you can just use this one over <laughs> half this other movie. Just saying, this is clearly not a fan project. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. This um, is this is too high-end for that. But no one's taken any uh, credit for it yet. Did Warner do the old MK movies? Like no, that was in? that was like New Line okay. and okay. other bullshit. They had nothing to do with those. But I guess they, at some level, Warner Brothers, the movie studio, owns the Mortal Kombat IP now, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, Okay. So yes, Warner Unless Brothers there are deals in place like for a third picture already. Th there could I, like as, the last I remember, there were still complications of the producers of the first two Mortal Kombat movies still had some rights to produce another one, and so there was there was someone trying to sue. There was weird lawsuits. That, like we made more Mortal Kombat than the Mortal Kombat people did. Yeah. Oh right, yeah, uh, fucking crazy. Uh, yeah. but uh, how do we, how would we feel if this is where? the new MK game ends up going. Dude, I, I think it looks pretty awesome. Like all this realistic, gritty, like, no outworld stuff, like coming up with at least something resembling a real-world explanation for, yo, why has Baraka got big-ass blades in his arms and is all crazy? Yeah. Yo, why did Johnny Cage get his damn head cut off? <laughs> that's what Baraka does. That's right. He cuts people's heads off. I really like... I really like the tone that they're trying to establish here, but I think the the thing that I surprise myself at being most excited about is uh, Scorpion as the protagonist. Oh, back that up. There's your Sub Zero, dude. That's a messed up Sub Zero. Yeah, I, I don't know. It looks pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely like a different direction that, that still kind of sets the stage for it to be 
like gruesome and crazy in like maybe an entirely different and darker way. Yeah. Like like meaningfully, like it was always kind of like funny gruesome. Yeah, like even when it was even when they said like no, this one we're taking it back and making it dark. It was like whoa. And then they let you drop an arcade machine on a guy. No, that was even in the years after yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. You know, kind of between that when they started making it 3D to begin with, but and then five they let and you six do that and stuff. Again. Yeah. But then when they let you do it again, you were like, yes, finally. <laughs> Clearly, they're back to what matters about Mortal Kombat. But, I don't know. No no characters are mentioned past MK2. Yeah. And even then, it's only Jackson. and... Well, I guess Reptile. Eh, whatever. Yeah. Jax, Reptile, and Baraka. Yeah. You, you could count Reptile as MK1, I guess, if you want. But it's such a Anything, weird... Anything, I'd say, probably up to three is acceptable. Yeah. Even three is pushing it, but... Some of three, I think, is is maybe pushing it. Like the yeah. Sindel stuff, Sindel, I think, is yeah. was over the line. But I mean, you, know, so you put Striker. I mean, you know, that's a police station. Striker, <laughs> yeah. you can put Striker. Striker. No, it would be criminal not to include Striker. I, well, yeah. Well, yeah. Whatever. They'll just include Striker's corpse. <sighs> that'll, that'll be Ed Boon's specific "fuck you" to you. <laughs> is there anything about that movie? Scream run button to either of you guys? <laughs> anything? Anything you could say? There were dudes running. No run buttons. No. Are you no, anti run button? That's when they needed the introduction of the run button changed everything. Didn't need it. They made the previous two games obsolete. Didn't need no <laughs> dial combos in there. Whatever. You just hate fun. Okay. Well, it's clearly, I mean, offense. You, it, just, you just want to turtle the whole match. Yeah. If this is you real, turn around, jump kick. Yeah. if this is real and does have something to do with the new MK game, which I, it kind of has to, kind of has to, right? Point, like, yeah. It's either that or a new movie. I mean, it's got to be one or the other. Yeah. And yeah, and, and, and I buy your reasons for why it's not the movie. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, then uh, it seems like it's it's generating some excitement on the internet. Yeah. Like you don't go get those guys for a fan project. Yeah. Sure. You don't get that quality of actor. And Jerry Ryan ain't exactly a list, but you know she's probably not that cheap. But he's she's like she's still like nerd a list, yeah, right? So. Like that's good. So she's, yeah, she's still that's good get for a video yeah, game. Yeah. Both of those, like like Michael Jai White and Jerry Ryan, like those are both people with with kind of nerd cred. Got cachet, sure. Absolutely. Well, uh, hopefully we'll see more of whatever this MK reboot is at E3. Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah. Stay tuned.